Evolve is back to answer more real EV comments from all over the internet. Let's do it. Brazen says, I'll be ready when the market is ready for it, but not until then. When battery costs come down and range goes up, just maybe. But right now, an EV is the last thing on my mind. Well, Brazen, uh, battery ranges already are increasing and uh, costs uh, have gone down and are coming down. Uh, there's lots of affordable EVs out there. And as far as the, the ranges go, uh, two and 300 mile batteries are pretty much the standard. And if you're just driving around town, I mean, when are you gonna need more than that? My wife and I, we travel all the time. And even on long trips, uh, the, the battery life and the recharging time, it's all great. Janine says, there shouldn't be a lack of energy problem. Between the sun and wind, there should be enough energy forever. Janine, somebody had to say it, and I'm glad it was you. EVs are just one pillar of the green energy transition, and everything you mentioned is just as important. Our communities need to focus on decarbonization and grid stability for it all to work. Thanks for your comment. KU says, there is not enough lithium in the world for enough electric cars. Awesome point and a very hot topic in EVs. Researchers are constantly looking for new resources, such as sodium ion, which is 300 times more abundant than lithium, making it far less expensive for consumers. Marco says, what happens to the car batteries after they degrade it? Well, car batteries, EV batteries, actually have a lifespan of about 10 years. And even after 10 years, companies are looking to invest in improving the rate and processes of recycling and reusing the batteries. CD says the main reason I would never consider one is how environmentally harmful the manufacturing of batteries is. While yes, battery manufacturing can be energy intensive, but since EVs emit zero emissions, the emissions debt is paid off in two years. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Tiger says, hey folks, how about a story on what it takes to make the electric vehicles? What kind of carbon footprint does that leave? I feel like he thinks they got us there. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been studied many times, and I would refer you to the Union of Concerned Scientists on this one. Uh, but while the manufacturing process of EVs does have more emissions currently than standard vehicles, What's important is that the emissions over time as you drive the vehicle are significantly less. So much so that by the time you get to the end of the vehicle's life cycle, you're talking about one third the emissions in an electric vehicle as opposed to a standard vehicle. So cradle to grave EVs are less carbon intensive than uh, standard vehicles every time. Thanks, Tiger. If you enjoyed this video, like, Comment and subscribe to Evolve Houston. <laughs>